Hello everyone. Uh, this is lab one. This is what I sent to you, you and what's posted in eCampus for our first lab. This first lab is very, very, very preliminary to actually to see uh, what we need to be done just to um, just to just to get things in the, the started with this thing. So whatever we do in lab one, it will roll over in lab two and lab three and the rest of the, the semester with it. So, you know, the things I ask you to repeat it, like for example, um, we're, gonna, we're not going to use any IDE in this class. We're going to use Notepad with it. So we have multiple operating systems that you, when you download, hopefully you had a chance to go in to my uh, instructions and download the Java SDK and, um, and install that and download that and then pick the right operating system with it as well. After you've done that, you look at my lab one, and I ask you to create a directory. Make sure you create a directory with it, this exact nomenclature, as I ask you to call it, under uppercase lab1, uppercase L, underscore A, B, C, D. And this is what I ask you to name it as. And this is going to repeat it from all the labs that you turn in. So lab1, lab2, lab3, lab4, and so on after this as well. So please follow, follow this parameter. I have 112 students this semester. So uh, please help me with that if you could. Um, in this lab, I, I'm going to help you do, um, as you recall, I assume that you had some sort of um, uh, instruction, that you had some sort of programming knowledge uh, be before coming to this class with it. So in this class that you have, um, I assume you know a little bit about variables, functions, at least from 1436 or 1415 that you took from me with it or another course with it. So I talk about functions, identifiers, or, or things that how you write with it. This builds off of that. It helps if you have all that. The, just from key things you need to know, um, control print screen will print um, a particular uh, capture only the focus screen and then control V's to paste that into the output. You need to do that once you've done this. So please read through this. Uh, this part, you know, this first part is straightforward to every uh, lab that we do uh, for this course. So in this first lab, what I assume you to do, I gave you, I asked you to read chapter one and get into chapter two. Chapter two, two is predominantly the, the the, the coding of the class with it as well. So I talked to you about three types of syntax errors in here. There's the um, there's the syntax errors. There's a logical error in this lab that you're gonna have to fix. By the way, that logical error is where the sales tax problem is. I'm not I'm not gonna tell you what, where it is with it. And of course, the most difficult error to detect is the logical error. The easiest one to detect is the syntax errors because they're just grammatically you miss a semicolon, you misspell a word, the compiler will pick that up with it. Uh, runtime error is an error that you really uh, don't see until the program is running. Um, it could be occur with some sort of wrong with your data. You define something that is a different size, different int, and you're trying to cast it into a different, you know, let's say you gave it a, a, a double, for example, and you're trying to fit it into an int. Okay, So that's, that's a casting error of 8 bytes to 4 bytes. That's not going to work with it. But so in this first program, I'm going to have you do is instead of saying copy, um, literally I'm going to do it for you uh, with this. So I'm going to do this in this video with it. So let me minimize this thing, and I or I'm going to leave this in the back screen. I'm going to have you open up a Notepad for me, please. If you could open up a Notepad uh, in here, and in this Notepad, what I'd like for you to do, if you could see this Notepad. Uh, it's just a plain old notepad with it. The first thing I need for you to do uh, when you look at this notepad, when you build this thing, the first file we're going to do is the, um, is the do file save as. I'd like for you to find a directory on, in, in your local drive. For me, I have a local drive here, um, my course, and I, I have a certain course with it. So uh, let me find a local drive where I'm with. How about I place this on the desktop? Okay, for me, it just, that makes it a little easier for everybody to find with it as well. So I'm going to do uh, for the purpose of the discussion. I'm going to call this Lab One underscore my first initial uppercase and my full last name. Exactly what my instructions would say with it. And inside of this, I, I'm going to. I would like for you to call the first one. Please note how this is named. This file name because it's it's going to be called Pay Java, and this is very important. And if, if you can see, 
what I've done here uh, and make sure you select all files pay.java and make sure you select that all files if you leave it as a text it's going to tag on the .txt at the end of this thing so make sure you you, you save this as pay.java and select the pull down on this thing and select all files for me that's that's very important every java file source code that you're going to create in here you need to do this if you left this the way how it is with a txt it's going to tag the .txt after the word java all right so make sure you select all files for me please and click on save now the name of this file is called pay all right can you see that in all of your source code you need to put your name your name goes here the second line is please identify what this course is this is USC 1437 dot what section